guys welcome back to another episode of t-bone southern ride i'm t-bone if you're new welcome i shoot motorcycle content any kind of content movie content uh as y'all know by now i had an episode where i lost some footage due to a format problem with a uh, sd card so hopefully i'm now on the back side of that all right guys so what's up with today's episode well we're out here on the midnight express going down the road at half the speed we need uh in my footage that got lost uh i had shot one of the my favorite roads that i enjoyed riding on a lot so i thought today i'm having to retest equipment i thought i would take you guys and let you ride on that road with me so we're going to do a time hop and i will see y'all there you guys ever have the same issue as i'm having when you need something you just can't get it <laughs> uh anyway so here we are we're on our way over to one of the roads that i like to ride on uh came through got a little fuel and uh man copper hill guys i'm telling you what i didn't realize what time of the day it was no actually i did and i actually thought that the train on the sunday would be gone by then i was clearly mistaken in that information but nonetheless i got what i needed got out of town didn't get scathed too bad uh this road here guys this course is 60 Appalachian Mountain Rides is on this road. Uh, we're going to be going up probably about another two and a half, three miles and hanging a right. But, uh, tell you what, I, you know, this weather kind of is crazy. Because one day it is and one day it isn't. I really wanted to try to reshoot this content, not have to wear a jacket or nothing, but uh, I am good without my gloves which is shocking because usually my hands are the first thing that gets really cold but i'm afraid to try going without the jacket because when you start making speed it uh yeah but anyway guys we're getting close to where we're headed to so i'll see you guys in just a couple of minutes okay guys we're almost there i'm coming on to uh uh the curtis switch area over here and we're not going to be riding Curtis Switch out to Barnes Chapel. We're going to be riding Galloway back over to Highway 5. Now, like I said, I originally had shot this video uh, and it ended up getting lost. And just a PSA, guys, a public service announcement here from T-Bone Southern Ride. This intersection right here used to be a three-way stop. The only stop now is at the bridge. It's just a straight run through here now. But good looking pavement down now on Galloway. Uh, Galloway's just one of those roads, guys. Uh, I don't like to ride, you know, fast anyway. Everybody who knows me knows I like to just kind of kick back and enjoy the ride and enjoy the slow ride. I'm not, you know, I'm not about getting there at 110 mile an hour unless I just have to get somewhere real quick. But normally I allow myself enough time where I don't have to do that. Uh, and I'll tell you something else too, guys. I've noticed uh, just something to discuss with you guys. It's, you know, it's neither here nor there. But I've noticed as I've reached a certain age, uh, I love riding with my brothers and sisters. I don't get me wrong. When I, when I say what I'm about to say, don't mean that I'm wanting to quit riding with groups. I love riding with my brothers and sisters, but man, I'm really starting to relish these days that I just can get out by myself, knees in the breeze, ride at my speed, you know, record content, talk to you guys enjoy beautiful beautiful scenery and not have to worry about being in no hurry uh you know because the ride dynamics are you know you you never know you know 
am I stopping too much? Am I not stopping enough? Am I going too fast? Am I going too slow? And man, when you're by yourself, it, it just takes all of that off of you. And like I said, now I'm not saying I, I don't, you know, I don't like riding in big groups. I will say that here. I, I learned that here just recently that the larger groups where there's 15, 20, 25 motorcycles, I, I, I'm really getting intolerant of riding in big, big groups. Uh, I prefer more to break off by myself and just kind of be on my own, do my own thing on my own time. And uh, that's just kind of where I'm at. And uh, you know, it's kind of the same thing with clubs. Uh, been in clubs, been president of clubs, but you know, I, I really enjoy, I'm enjoying a lot of not being in a club, just kind of being able to come and go and not have the uh, politics and all that stuff. Uh, you know, I, and it's funny that you say all this stuff because the older I get, the more, oh, beautiful ride, man. There's a lot of, a lot of wind damage, a lot of trees down on the, the rivers and the creeks, but we're riding up to Coy here. Uh, of course, like I said, on Galloway Road. Just a beautiful ride. I enjoy taking this ride. I can slow down. There's not a lot of traffic on it. Kind of serene. But getting back to what I was saying is I kind of, I guess as I'm getting older, I kind of just enjoy the, okay, I'm out here doing a ride for me kind of deal. I'm kind of out here enjoying me time. Uh, not having to be in a group, not having to answer about why you want to do this or why you don't want to do this or why can't you go with us here. I just, I kind of, <laughs> I've always had that lone wolf mentality, but man, I, the older I get, the more, you know, me and R1, if Regina's with me, I'm even happier. Of course, she's not with me today. I'm on the Midnight Express, just shooting sport content for you guys, but. I really do relish these days when I can just get out and solo ride and there's no pressure, there's no we gotta be here at a certain time or cause uh, you know that that's all well and good and it does have its place in the motorcycle culture but man I'm you know I, I, I'm just getting to where I'm really digging the whole just get out and do it at my own pace and that for a while, I always felt kind of bad when I would go out and ride by myself if I didn't call somebody in the bottom to go with me. But, you know, I, not everybody calls me every time they go riding, and I had to get past that to that, you know, you're riding for yourself a lot, so. <laughs> I know this kind of makes me sound like a jerk, but I'm really starting to relish these days when I can just jump on the bike and I'm by myself and which I'm not by myself I'm with you guys hopefully shooting content that I'm not going to lose uh, and then just enjoying the ride enjoying the day enjoying my bike enjoying my speed my pace I'm a slow rider guys I'm slow ride brother I, I really am I don't I don't get off on speed or have to go fast everywhere I go. I know when you're riding with other people, you've got to maintain a certain speed. But I really do enjoy these times when I'm just out here cruising along by myself, just enjoying the ride. And enjoying the ride, we have now made it to the end of Galloway. Uh, you know, the thing about Galloway Road is, guys, it's not a very long road. It does have some pretty crazy curves. As you saw back there, we rode through a hairpin. It does have one. There's one hairpin turn on it. We came through it, you know. Of course, I don't ride fast, so it may not look like a hairpin to you guys. But, you know, that's just one of them roads I, I, I enjoy getting on. I can just take my time comes from Mineral Bluff to Highway 5. As you can see, we're back out here on Highway 5. Uh, just enjoying the day. Uh, of course, the other entrance for Galloway is right there beside the old marina. But, uh, you know, that's just kind of kind of part and parcel, I guess, of growing older. You, your desires 
for how you want to do things kind of change and I noticed in the last big group ride that I was in that uh, I just wasn't digging it. I, I really was not digging the ride at all. I mean, it was one of them things, it was a ride that I had to be there to go on. But I have reached that age where riding alone just has a lot more appeal to it. <laughs> and, and like I said, I know some of you guys that ride with me a lot are going to say, well, he's just been a jerk or he don't want to ride with us no more. And uh, that's not at all what I'm saying. I'm just saying that to state the fact of the matter is I enjoy, I'm enjoying these solo days, solo rides, where I'm out just doing my thing, you know, kind of enjoying it. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you know what? Uh, I want to say too about my social media guys I, I've had a lot of different things kind of rolling around in my head but I noticed on my Facebook page I have got a ton and ton and ton a whole long line of friend requests and that's on me guys that I haven't gotten to them I will get to the friend request I promise it's just that most of the time I'm on and off of Facebook so fast I'm there to upload I'll check my notifications and I'll hit my comments and reply to my comments, but for the most part, I'm on and I'm off because I've always got a, a ton of other stuff going on, but uh, I, I will get to the friend request and I noticed on my messenger, a lot of people have sent me messages. I haven't read none of my messages in a little while, so if you have sent me a message and I haven't responded to you on messenger, please don't think that I'm being a butt or nothing i'm just really with my job working 40 hours a week and trying to put in content and trying to be the family man and that's the one i really want to succeed at is taking care of my wife and kids making sure that i give them the amount of time that they deserve but for the most part guys i uh, even though i'm not in motion all the time i've always got something going on so so don't think if I haven't returned a message to you on Messenger or that I haven't accepted your friend request that I'm being... All right, guys, yeah. Uh, so like I said, I'm not trying to be a bud or ignoring you. Just, uh, man, a ton of stuff going on, guys. I, and I'm thankful to be doing everything that I'm doing. But uh, I'll get back to you just as quick as I can. But guys, if you made it this far, like I said, drop down. Give me a thumbs up smash that uh smash that button for me and let me know that i'm doing good let me know y'all are enjoying the content uh that's pretty well much gonna wrap this episode up guys uh it's been a great day just getting out doing a short ride taking you down galloway one of my absolute favorite just solo roads to ride on but uh until the next time guys i'm t-bone and this has been the southern ride